Question 16. What are the different measures that are required to achieve the design for better yield? Answer. To achieve better yield then there should be reduction in manufacturability flaws. The circuit performance has to be high that reduces the parametric yield. This reduction is due to process variations. The measures that can be taken are creation of powerful run set files that consists of spacing and shorting rules. This also consists of all the permissions that has to be given to the user. Check the areas where the design is having lithographic issues that consists of sharp cuts. Use of redundant yards to reduce the breakage of the current and the barrier. Optimal placing of the decoupling capacitances can be done so that there is a reduction in power surges. Question 17. What is the difference between the melee and more state machine? Answer. More model consists of the machine that have an entry action and the output depends only on the state of the machine. Whereas melee model only uses input actions and the output depends on the state and also on the previous inputs that are provided during the program. More models are used to design the hardware systems. Whereas both hardware and software systems can be designed using the melee model. Melee machines output depend on the state and input. Whereas the output of the MOA machine depends only on the state as the program is written in the state only. Mealy machine is having the output by the combination of both input and the state and the change the state of state variables also have some delay when the change in the signal takes place. Whereas in MOA machine doesn't have glitches and its output is dependent only on states not on the input signal level. Question 18. What is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous reset? Answer. Synchronous reset is the logic that will synthesize to smaller flip-flops. In this the clock works as a filter providing the small reset glitches but the glitches occur on the active clock edge. Whereas the asynchronous reset is also known as reset release or reset removal. The designer is responsible of added the reset to the data paths. The synchronous reset is used for all the types of design that are used to filter the logic glitches provided between between the clocks, whereas the circuit can be reset with or without the clock present. Synchronous reset doesn't allow the synthesis tool to be used easily and it distinguishes the reset signal from other data signal. The release of the reset can occur only when the clock is having its initial period. If the release happens near the clock edge then the flip-flops can be metastable. Question 19. What are the different design techniques required to create a layout for digital circuits? Answer. The different design techniques to create the layout for digital circuits are as follows. Digital design consists of the standard cells and represent the height that is required for the layout. The layout depends on the size of the transistor. It also consists of the specification for VDD and GND metal parts that has to be maintained uniformly. Use of metal in one direction only to apply the metal directly. The metal can be used and displayed in any direction. Placing of the substrate that place where it shows all the empty spaces of the layout where there is resistances. Use of finger transistors allows the design to be more easy and it is easy to maintain a symmetry as well. Question 20. Write a program to explain the comparator. Answer. To make a comparator there is a requirement to use multiplexer that is having one input and many outputs. This allows the choosing of the maximum numbers that are required to design the comparator. The implementation of the 2-bit comparator can be done using the law of trigotomy that states that A greater than B, A less than B, A equals P. Law of trigotomy. The comparator can be implemented using combinational logic circuits or multiplexers that use uses the HDL language to write the schematic at Artland gate level. Question 21. What is the function of chain reordering? Answer. The optimization technique that is used makes it difficult for the chain ordering system to root due to the congestion caused by the placement of the cells. There are tools available that automate the reordering of the chain to reduce the congestion that is produced at the first stage. It increases the problem of the chain system and this also allow the overcoming of the buffers that have to be inserted into the scan path. The increase of the hold time in the chain reordering can cause greater amount of delay. Chain reordering allows the cell to become in the ordered format while using the different clock domains. It is used to reduce the time delay caused by random generation of the element and the placement of it.
Question 22. What are the steps involved in designing an optimal pad ring? Answer. To make the design for an optimal pad ring there is a requirement for the corner pads that comes across all the corners of the pad ring. It is used to give power continuity and keep the resistance low. It requires the pad ring that is to fulfill the power domains that is common for all the ground across all the domains. It requires the pad ring to contain simultaneous switching noise system that place the transfer cell pads in cross power domains for different pad length. Drive strength has been seen to check the current requirements and the timings to make the power pads. Choose a no connection pad that is used to fill the pad frame when there is no requirement for the inputs to be given. This consumes less power when there is no input given at a particular time. Checking of the oscillators pads take place that uses the synchronous circuits to make the clock data synchronize with the existing one. Question 23. What is the function of enhancement mode transistor? Answer. The enhancement mode transistors are also called as field effect transistors as they rely on the electric field to control the shape and conductivity of the channel. This consists of one type of charge carrier in a semiconductor material environment. This also uses the unipolar transistors to differentiate themselves with the single carrier type operation transistors that consists of the bipolar junction transistor. The uses of field effect transistor is to physical implementation of the semiconductor materials that is compared with the bipolar transistors. It provides with the majority of the charge carrier devices, the devices that consists of active channels to make the charge carriers pass through. It consists of the concept of drain and the source. Question 24. What is the purpose of having depletion mode device? Answer. Depletion modes are used in MOSFET. It is a device that remains on at zero gate source voltage. This device consists of load resistors that are used in the logic circuits. These types are used in N-type depletion load devices that allow the threshold voltages to be taken and use of minus 3V to plus 3 volts is done. The drain is more positive in this comparison of MOS where the polarities gets reversed. The mode is usually determined by the sign of threshold voltage for N-type channel. Depletion mode is the positive one and used in many technologies to represent the actual logic circuit. It defines the logic family that is dependent on the silicon VLSI. This consists of pull-down switches and loads for pull-ups. Question 25. What is the difference between MOS and MOS technologies? Answer. MOS consists of metal oxide semiconductor that is made on the N-type substrates and consists of active carriers named as holes. These holes are used for migration purpose of the charges between the P-type and the drain. Whereas, MOS consists of the metal oxide semiconductor and they are made on P-type substrates. It consists of electrons as their carriers and migration happens between the N-type source and drain. On applying the high voltage on the logic gates MOS will be conducted and will get activated. Whereas, MOS require low voltage to be activated. MOS are faster than MOS as the carriers that MOS uses are electrons that travels faster than holes. The speed is twice as fast as holes. MOS are more immune to noise than MOS. Question 26. What is the difference between CMOS and bipolar technologies? Answer. CMOS technology allows the power dissipation to be low and it gives more power output. Whereas bipolar takes lots of power to run the system and the Kirikitari require lots of power to get activated. CMOS technology provides high input impedance that is low drive current that allow more current to be flown in the cirrusit and keep the circuit in a good position. Whereas it provides high drive current means more input impedance. CMOS technology provides scalable threshold voltage more in comparison to the bipolar technology that provides low threshold voltage. CMOS technology provides high noise margin packing density whereas bipolar technology allows to have low noise margin so that to reduce the high volumes and give low packing density of the components. Question 27. What are the different classification of the timing control? Answer. There are different classification in which the timing control data is divided and they are delay-based timing control. This is based on timing control that allows to manage the component such that the delay can be notified and wherever it is required it can be given. The delays that are based on this are as regular delay control that controls the delay on a regular basis. Intra-assignment delay control that controls the internal 
delays, zero delay control, events based timing control. This is based on the events that are performed when an event happens or a trigger is set on an event that takes place. It includes regular event control, named event control, event or control, level sensitive timing control. This is based on the levels that are given like zero level or one level that is being given or shown and the data is being modified according the levels that are being set. When a level changes the timing control also changes. Question 28. We have multiple instances in ARTL register transfer language. Do you do anything special during synthesis stage? Answer. While writing ARTL register transfer language, say in Verilog or in VHDL language, we don't write the same module functionality again and again. We use a concept called as instantiation, wherein as per the language, the instantiation of a module will behave like the parent module in terms of functionality, where during synthesis stage we need the full code so that the synthesis tool can study the logic structure and map it to the library cells. So we use a command in synthesis called as uniqify which will replace the instantiations with the real logic because once we are in a synthesis stages we have to visualize as real cells and no more modeling just for functionality alone. We need to visualize in terms of physical world as well. Question 29. What is tie high and tie low cells and where it is used? Answer. Tie high and tie low cells are used to connect the gate of the transistor to either power or ground. In deep submicron processes, if the gate is connected to power slash ground, the transistor might be turned on slash off due to power or ground bounce. The suggestion from Foundry is to use tie cells for this purpose. These cells are part of standard cell library. The cells which require VDD comes and connect to tie high. So so tie high is a power supply cell, while the cells which wants VSS connects itself to tie low. Question 30. What is the difference between latches and flip-flop space designs? Answer. Latches are level sensitive and flip-flops are edge sensitive. Latch based design and flop based design is that latch allows time borrowing which a tradition flop does not. That makes latch based design more efficient. But at the same time, latch based design is more complicated and has more issues in min timing. Races. Its STA with time borrowing in deep pipelining can be quite complex.